Hello everyone, um, my name is Christian Alfoni and I am the author of Webpack Bin. Um, so there's been a new release, which is kind of like beta second edition or whatever. Um, and there's, uh, there's some changes. So I wanted to create a new introduction video to just go through everything really. Because if you haven't seen the last one, then you might get confused with this one. So yeah, let me just go through everything here. So Webpack Bin is a service uh, that is kind of like the next generation code sharing tool because the way we write code has changed a lot uh, the last few years and currently the code sharing tools are just too, uh, too simple. Uh, they don't reflect how we actually write code. Um, so Webpack Bin is a way to to at least try to simulate the environment that we usually write code in. And yeah, so let me just go through this. Uh, first, I will just create some code here. Uh, hello world. And when I save this, uh, we can see it appear on the right side as you would expect. And if I add a new file here, style CSS, and uh, let's say color red, and I go in and I add the tag here, style sheet, href, styles.css, and say that, and the text is red, uh, as you would expect. But this is not really how we uh, write our code. Um, and if I now remove this tag, and I will also remove this file, I can create a new file called main.js. And I will tell Webpack Bin that this is my entry point. And when I add this file now, um, there's actually an instance of Webpack created on the server, just for you. Uh, and a script tag has been added here, pointing to this main.js file. But this main.js file isn't the code you write here. Uh, this code is actually bundled into Webpack, and this gives some amazing features, like all the different loaders of Webpack, allowing you to write next generation JavaScript, uh, coffee script, uh, we can use less and sass and just about everything. Um, but even more fun uh, is that you can add any npm package because now we don't we don't include our uh, uh, tools as script tags in our HTML file. We download them as npm packages and we include them into our workflow. Uh, so if I hit configure here, we can see that. Uh, on this middle section here, I can add uh, npm packages. So if I, for example, type react, uh, I get react or react dom, I get react dom. Um, and on the right side, I can choose different loaders. And typically with react, I would want bubble and the latest um, JavaScript features and also react JSX support. And when I save this now, uh, I actually have uh, React available here, uh, but instead of me writing lots of code, I will show you a different feature, which is uh, the boilerplates over here. And if I now hit React, I load up uh, React, and you can see that it just instantly loads. And this is like an hello, uh, an hello world example of, of React. Uh, but we can also look at other boilerplates here, for example, Cerebral, which is a project I've been working on personally with some, some other people. And actually Webpack Bin is built with Cerebral and it's a framework to build really complex UIs, like you have super complex state changes. And Webpack Bin is a, that kind of, of application. Uh, but I can even go in there and I can load up Angular 2 uh, and as you can see it just instantly fires up and the reason it does that is because Webpack Bin has some really uh, smart caching uh, functionality uh, and I'm not going to go into that um, but yeah it's kind of cool how fast you can load up all these different tools. Um, so let's go back to configure and I will show you now that you can also quick start a project. So for example, you want TypeScript as your entry point. Uh, you can click here and we got uh, our main TypeScript file loaded here. 
and it's importing a style CSS file and we have an empty style CSS file. So let me just show you that if I, for example, say color blue here now, and my main uh, TypeScript file is importing this style file. And if I go to index.html now and I just add the hello there and save that, uh, the text is blue. So just, just like that, we, we set up our workflow and we can start producing code as if it were uh, locally in our application workflow. Um, but I also want to show you uh, that there's a log in this service. So if I type bin.log and write hello world uh, like that, and we save that and go to the log, uh, we can see that. Uh, but of course, we can also have objects and arrays and all that good stuff. Uh, and it works as you would expect. You also have the possibility to change the size of the log on the right side here, which is kind of nice. Now, uh, when you have created your, your bin, you can just share that bin uh, using the URL up here. Uh, but you can also download uh, your bin. So if I hit the download button here, we can see that I get a zip file. And if I open that now, we can see that I have all my uh, files in here. Uh, so I have my main TS file, styles CSS file, and my webpack config. Uh, with all the uh, dependencies and loaders and all the stuff I need to, to continue working on my project locally. So you just basically move the files into a folder, npm install, npm start, and there you go. Um, but now I want to show you something else. Uh, so let me just fire up a new bin here. Uh, and let's just do a simple with some CSS. That's nice. Okay, uh, so I'm going to hit this button called live. And when I do that, I create a live session. So if I copy this uh, URL and I'm going to, I should have Safari behind there somewhere. There we go. And I will join this session. And what happens now is that you can see I got a new user here. And what basically happens is that whenever I do any code changes there, that will appear on the other users as well. And when I save, it updates, and just as you would expect. Uh, now, the thing is that now I am the teacher on the browser at the top, uh, but I can give control to the other user because the other user can't click anything. Nothing happens, can't write any code or anything. Uh, but if I click that user, I give control to the other person. So now the other person can change uh, the code. Uh, maybe that person wanted to ask a question or whatever. Um, and I can at any time retake the control of, of the bin. So I imagine this as a really great teaching tool. And with the latest version um, of Webpack bin, it actually supports mobile as well. So let me change this around where I start up a simple entry point in Safari, make it live, and let me copy that over to Chrome instead. And on Chrome, I will switch to the mobile version, like that. Let's see if we can make this fit there. Okay, I think we're good here. We make this a little bit smaller, like that. So, um, again, when I make changes here, you can see that it, it works on mobile as well. Uh, and if I type something here, maybe I want to log hello world, uh, and I save that, and that will actually slide in the preview window. Uh, and if I click the log, it will open the log. But if I go back to my code now, it will slide back into the code. So I hope this can be a really good way to, for example, have a Hangout session. And, uh, and you can join that Hangout session on your mobile to have voice, but then you receive this link to, 
to this live bin and you can just sit with your mobile phone and look at the code changes and the preview window and, and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, there are still some things to do on the mobile version to make it even more friendly, uh, but I think this is a really good start. Okay, but that is actually what I wanted to show you. So thanks for taking a look at Webpack Bin and I hope you like it.